Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to try and make this quick route and uh, hopefully we're going to have a good day. Got the AT Max and uh, stock coil and we have Jeremy with um, today and he also has the AT Pro with the Tornado so that's pretty cool. I think that I got this guy right here what I'm looking for. I'm thinking that that's going to be a, a cannonball frag. So let's kind of get it a little bit loose. Maybe wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. All right. Oh, close. No cigar. All right, thanks, guys. Hello, and uh, got this right here. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a wick adjuster. We're gonna see if we can get a year off right there later on, but that's uh, it's pretty cool. It's kind of falling apart in my hand right now, so I'm gonna get off the phone so I can at least preserve as much as I can. All right, thanks. I gotta say today, I'm definitely loving the AT Max. No, we got little ringtail sharps right here. And um, I don't know if it's dropped or it's fired. It's definitely in nice shape. All right, let's keep it going. Hey everyone, uh, this this is epic. I'm I'm shaking right here. I've been coming out in this area for I don't even know how long, looking for this. This it's, it's it's amazing. So I don't know if you can really see see this right here, but it's looking like. Hold on. Look, you can see it right there. You can see the lead or the sabot. Oh my gosh, it is a fully intact shell. It's a fully, in, it's, oh my gosh. It's, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get this kind of cleaned up a little bit and uh, get home and man, I will see you guys at the Relic Roundup. Hey everyone, uh, Relic Roundup. Well, Jeremy was here or he was with me, but I don't know, we were kind of far away from each other and everything else like that. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any like recordings of his finds. But he has some pretty cool finds and we're gonna at least show you in a Relic Roundup. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> What's up? It's been a while. Oh, God, damn it. Stop. No, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna rock with it because yeah, that's what he was wearing. I'm going to show everybody. We're not even going to do an outtake. I hope you're ready because we're going to just all keep right, rolling. All right. All right. All right. So that's what I had to deal with today. <laughs> oh, it was great. We got some awesome permission from this awesome place. And let me tell you what, I had this on the whole time. I think that's what got us in. Let me show you what I pulled out today. I'm going to start with some of the junk first. You know what's crazy is that's, that's true story. But go <laughs> ahead, man. I found, well, it's really warm. It's yeah, really I, warm. I love this thing. I found this pipe, that weird piece of iron, junk, some junk. Come on, copper banding. Don't say junk all the time. Okay, it could be something. It could be something. I don't know what this little thing is. It's probably uh, a fishing hook that was used by Benjamin Franklin. That's my guess. I know I'm wrong, but at least I can say I tried. Here's this awesome brass bell that I found. And uh, while you guys are digging, don't forget, don't get too excited because I hit it with the digging tool and broke it. So, yeah, it was a really beautiful find, and I destroyed it. Here's something cool I found. This is a uh, flake or a little broken piece of an arrowhead or something. That's cool. We can tell if it's worked or not pretty well. Found this awesome gear I'm going to use for something. Repurpose it. That's pretty neat. I don't know what this is. I think I've seen one or two of these before in the past and dug them up and didn't know what they are. I know it's not Civil War period or earlier than that, but if you guys know, leave something in the comments below. I got this, uh, some type of a buckle of some kind. It's a handle, dude. It's a oh, handle. It's a handle? Like a, yeah. Oh, yeah. Handle. I was thinking buckle. Nope. Like horse tack, but yeah, you're right. I wonder what. Like some chest, type of handle. Like got this. Might be a piece of an artillery shell. I don't know for sure. It's kind of one of those iffy ones. That's pretty cool. Now for the two finds that I did find today that were pretty decent. I got this wick adjuster. 
lantern wick adjuster. That's pretty cool. Um, it's got a pretty green patina to it. I actually have a third find, a little tiny <laughs> round, possibly musket ball, but more than likely a 22. We still got to clean the side of that wick adjuster the right date. there, and hopefully it'll have a date. a date. And let's see my the prize, grand prize. Prize possession. Yeah. See my smile? You see that? Mm. Yeah. Let me show you guys something here. This is a sabot, lead sabot off of an artillery shell, which you'll see a little bit more about this uh, in Randy's Relic Roundup. But um, this is uh, part of an artillery shell still in there, the iron of the artillery shell. And then this is the lead sabot off of it. There's uh, rifling grooves in here you can see. And what this was for is basically it would catch the the um, rifling because it was a little bit bigger than the diameter of the, the uh, barrel of the cannon. And it would actually allow it to catch the rifling when it was fired out. That would expand and allow it to uh, spiral and go straight where they wanted to. So that's a cool find. That's the biggest one I've ever found. And I think the biggest one me and Randy have seen pulled out. And it's definitely cool. But uh, we'll get with you with Randy's Relic Roundup. He's got something awesome to show, which you've probably already seen in the video. Kudos to Randy. Randy's the man. He done pulled out an epic one of a lifetime, hopefully more than one of a lifetime find, because we're going to find more, believe me. Rock and roll. See you later. Hey, everyone. Uh, here we are at the Relic Roundup. And... Um, I'm definitely loving the AT Max. I mean, the machine's awesome. I love the different audio that it has. And um, but I'm going to say something. And I definitely want to be clear about it. If I had my AT Pro, I would have found it too. Like, there's no doubt about it. But, like, the depth and everything else and the audio and just everything that the AT Max has to provide, I love the machine for sure. But I'm not going to sit here and try to sell the idea that the only reason why I found this artillery shell is because of my Max. That's not the reason. But it's definitely um, off to a good start, let's just say that. But, alright, let's get to it. Um, so, here we go. We got this this little weird piece right here. I don't really know what it is. And um, if anybody has an idea, definitely throw a comment in the you know comment section, obviously. And uh, got like this wall log splitter right here. And um, finally going ahead and, you know, cleaning this up right here. I'm not going to be able to show you the date because it's so small, but it's uh, 1878 is what I believe we were able to see that's on it. And um, we also have this piece right here. And I don't know what it is. And if any of you guys have an idea or gals, please definitely let us know. And uh, we definitely greatly appreciate it. We got this watch right here, this little pocket watch. And um, it's silver, and you know, it has to be. I mean, I dug this, it's about six inches down, and it's a pretty awesome find right here. I wish I would have got this one on video. And um, well, here she is. I mean, I've been, I've been going out and looking for, looking for one of these shells. I mean, I, there's another one out there that, you know, has the fuse and, you know, it's an exploding, it's an exploding shell, but. I'm not complaining about this. I mean, to still have the Sabbat going all the way across, I mean, it's just fully intact. It's perfect. And, you know, obviously it's been fired, so that's awesome. You know, it's not like it's dropped or anything along those lines. So, I mean, it's definitely an epic day. Um, I'm glad that we were able out to enjoy it. And, you know, it was cold this morning. It was frost, and I bought new gloves and everything else. But, I don't know. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time watching, um, if you enjoyed the video, we got a couple other videos. We don't have like a lot of crazy exciting finds all the time, but every once in a while we have a couple of them that sneak in there. But thanks for watching and uh guys and gals are out there hunting. Happy hunting. Good luck and have a great one. Thank you.